All right, so we're going to talk about wheel breathing. Uh, this is something we reviewed in January during our SCBA class. Wheel breathing is a tactic for survival. Uh, the only time we're going to use wheel breathing is if we're running low on air, we've tried to self-extricate, we can't get out, and it's literally, I have to sit here and do nothing and try to conserve my air as long as possible, waiting for a crew to come get me because I cannot get out on my own. So it's just a way to make our air last as long as possible. Think of it uh, as a... 454 Chevy versus a Prius hybrid. You know, we have an X amount of fuel. We want to make sure that we can string that fuel out as long as possible. So the way it works is our five alert is pneumatic and it actually consumes air to operate. So if we're stuck and we can't move, we don't need that five alert going off and wasting air on that. We need to conserve every bit of air we can. So this is just a tactic where we're using our wheel on our, our valve on our air pack kind of as a diaphragm, and that's our valve that we're gonna to use to kind of help regulate that air where we're not just wasting it. Because you're gonna find a spot to sit down, chill out. If you're breathing really, really hard, um, this is dang near impossible to do, so you have to sit down, chill out, find some kind of method like box breathing or whatever works best for you to bring your heart rate down where you actually pay attention to what you're doing. And the way it's gonna work is you're gonna turn your bottle off. And then when you're ready for a breath, you're gonna crack your bottle just barely. You crack your bottle too much, it makes your vibe alert go off. Once again, that's what we're trying to avoid. So your vibe alert's your indicator that you've gone too much. So you crack your bottle just enough that your vibe alert doesn't come on and you get your breath. When you're about halfway through that inhale, you need to start turning that bottle back off. And then when you're ready to breathe again, crack it open again, get you a breath. When you're about halfway through the inhale, start turning it off. Once you find the sweet spot in that bottle, it's only about a quarter to a third of a turn. On how, on how far you have to manipulate this valve. Once again, if you turn it on too much and leave air in that system, your vibe alert's gonna hit. Open it up, take a breath, halfway through, turn it off, finish sucking air out of that system, exhale, and then just repeat. Uh, we've had good results with this. Obviously, we have a 45 minute bottle here. The way they get ratings on bottles, that's someone sitting there doing nothing for 45 minutes. That's where they get that reading. So we have people in our SCBA tests where they would work for 20, 25 minutes and hard work, they'd have their heart rate up around 150. And they're working hard and at about the 20, 25 minute mark, their vibe alert would start going off on this 45 minute bottle. After their vibe alert hit and they sat down, chilled out and did this wheel breathing, their bottle would last an additional hour longer. So you're getting an hour, 20 minutes out of the 45 minute bottle. That includes work time, not just sitting there doing nothing. Uh, we had one individual, obviously in very good shape and practiced this quite a bit. Uh, he worked for 25 minutes, and his total bottle time was two hours and 14 minutes on a 45-minute bottle. So there's definitely something to it. Uh, definitely takes practice. Obviously, the more we practice it, the more proficient we'll get. And uh, once again, this is one of those probably one in a million things you could possibly ever use. But obviously, if you ever get stuck in that situation, you sure be glad you knew how to do it to serve your air as much as possible.